Have you ever gone on a major airline with a bow and arrow? Let's talk about it. It'll make you more comfortable. Hello and welcome back to the YouTube channel. MFJJ here with PodiumArcher.com talking about flying on a plane with a bow and arrow, what to expect. I actually had a lot of people bring this up at different points and I thought, well, hey, why not make a video about it? We talked about it a little bit and I went, hey, let's just do it. It's pretty simple. It's way less concerning than you think. One, one thing that I have seen is it's usually based off of the type of case that you have and how they're gonna freak out about it. Uh, when I went through the airlines the last time, there were several of us, two of us had bows. One of us had a very large roller bag that didn't necessarily look like a bow case. Uh, that in that particular didn't even acknowledge he had a bow, just gave it to him, they took it and everything went fine and dandy. So if you wanna be a little bit of a rebel, that might be one way to go. But if you have an actual lockable kind of case, the first thing they're gonna ask you when you get up there is go, they're gonna go, is that a gun? And you say, no, it's a bow and arrow. You say, okay, they weigh it, you walk it down to the end, you set it down, then they go through it. They want the ability to open it up, look at it, make sure there's nothing in there that's going to concern them. But you don't have to go through any major rigmarole of worry. If you want to be able to lock your case, you got a couple requirements there. One, you need a TSA lock on it. Now those come in the form of cables or latches that are automatically in your case. So we had some technical difficulties in this video and we lost the last file after the last pause. So we're gonna try to keep it off, but we're in a different location, we're up at the house. Um, I was talking about the latches. So TSA locks are required if you want to be able to lock your equipment. And the SKB does a nice little TSA 002 integrated lock in your key, in your case. So. Um, if you're gonna buy a case that has locks on it, make sure they're TSA locks. So then it doubles as your ability to lock it and their way to open it and inspect it later because they will require that. Other than that, you can put like a steel cable lock on here that would have a TSA certification on it to use. Now, this is an example of what I use in the case that I like. So let's open her up. It's probably a disaster because I haven't opened it since the uh, TAC Utah. So, this is an SKBI series 4217. We do sell these on the website and we actually had them specifically make these for us because I really prefer a different color. Um, the fact that it's green when cases are coming off uh, the airline's baggage, it looks different, it stands out different. So I kind of like the green one and they make a brown too, but the brown gets dirty and messy really quick. This is actually just a generic double bow case or takedown shotgun AR shorter rifle case. And I like that because I got all kinds of options. Some of the uh, guys in the Matthews booth thought they were really funny and attacked this weekend, stuck that on my bow. So this is a double bow case. So you've got a bottom and a top. You can throw whatever you want in the bottom. You can put two bows in it if you want or a bunch of your accessories in the bottom and then drop this back over the top of it and put your bow in it. Uh, this is just a little toolbox that I bought at the hardware store to put a bunch of different Allen wrenches in. So I have miscellaneous and it happens to fit right in there when you close it. And then I like to use a separate arrow case. A lot of the bow cases you're gonna find will have like this molded thing in the top that's for your arrows. If you've ever used one of those much, after time they usually fall out, your arrows won't stay in it or the glue that holds them on will fall off. So then you end up getting to where you're going and your arrows with the points on them are sitting right on top of your bow and it's a little frightening. So for me, I like a little bit more of a generic case. I wanna say we actually sell these for 350 bucks shipped on the website if I remember right. And this is an Easton Deluxe 33 micro case that happens to fit right inside of it. So I can put my arrows in separately. I can organize it however I want and I can fit a 35 inch axle to axle bow in here in general. I think or smaller, this is a 34 and it all fits nicely and cleanly. And this case in particular only has a lid and a bottom without hinges. The hinges are actually molded as part of the case and it's got a gasket in it. So this is like waterproof, dustproof. You could probably submerge it. I haven't tried to submerge it to see if it stays, you know, not getting water in it, but I think it does. And this is all mill spec stuff. So for my money, it's really hard to beat these. I've had Pelicans, I've had aluminum cases back in the day, and I just, I can't find something more durable than this. And I've never been able to damage a bow from this, regardless of what I've done with it. Maybe we'll throw one of these out of the back of a pickup at 50 miles an hour, see if it hurts what's in it or something for fun. Make that a little cool video for you. But the six latches all hold it together. And these are also 
inset here. So if you have another case, they actually lock into each other when you stack them. So there's this little bump right here and this ridge fits over the top of the next case. So if you had two cases that were the same size, they would lock. They have wheels and handles on them. So you can roll it through an airport. So when you get to where you're going, just carry it behind you. You're not carrying the weight. If you got a backpack or a bag, hold it in your hand, grab the latch and off you go. I've flown with one of these probably about 10 times and I just, I won't fly with anything else. And I don't think there's anything more durable or more reliable. So for my money, SKB I-Series is the best bow case on the planet. And I really suggest all of you, if you're gonna buy a case, don't be cheap. You're just, it's just gonna break and you're gonna replace it later. Just get a good case, save your money until you're ready to buy one and buy a good one. In my mind, these are the best. Comment down below on what I didn't point out, what I didn't mention, but the airlines is super easy. Don't be afraid of it. Don't be intimidated by it. You're not gonna run into problems. They're really cool. And just make sure if you have locks on it that they're TSA certified locks so they can open it later and inspect it if they want. Thanks for watching.